My first question is, how would you look back on your time at NGC? Hmm. Uh, I, I would say uh, challenging, turbulent, but rewarding. In other words, it, it was a period of course <coughs> with a lot of difficulty um, in terms of pricing, in terms of volumes, uh, contracts, and all of these things that needed to be done and claims. So I would say from that point of view, it was extremely challenging. But I would say, um, you know, based on where we are now, a lot has been uh, stabilized, so to speak, and there's a lot more hope for the future, given some other things that have been put in place. You know, we're not in fighting every single day anymore. Right? We still have to fight certain things. Yeah. Uh, you still have molecular issues, uh, you know. But I would say um, we're in a better place now to build on. What are you most proud of that you've accomplished within your ATL period? Can you? Hmm. you know, normally I would say yeah, that we brought it to a place of stability and all of these kinds of things, but I, I would say the um, culture change of the company towards sustainability, um, towards using technology, more long term type of things is probably. Um, um, Things that I, I hope would be of great value to the organization going forward, you know. Um, so it's not just thinking about ourselves and just not just doing things and have a good bottom line and that's it. <coughs> but I would say the other things that we put put in place over the years that really make an impact on people and the I would say the value chain going forward. I won't be here to enjoy some of it, but I would say the um, that is probably uh, what I think was proud of. Assuming, assuming is the operative word, you will be having an input in who the incumbent will be. What are you looking for in that person, in that candidate? Hmm, that's a good question, but I would say it will have to be someone, from, I would say, able to work in many stakeholders. Um, that's a, there's a lot of stakeholders in the chain from gas suppliers to downstreamers to manufacturers and government and so on. So I would think that the ability to have good relationships and have some knowledge of technical knowledge that is of the industry would be quite helpful um, in this job. At the same time, if you look at what's happening going forward, it's also requiring a period of transformation, going green and all of these things. So it's not just about staying stagnant. So hopefully it's someone able to uh, also transition with the future and build the rest of the organization for the future. So it's definitely not a um, the same day-to-day -day job every day, for sure. Are there anyone in mind for the job? Have someone been selected? Or have anybody been eyed that you'd like to see? No, I would say what what will happen now is that there will be a process that will you know, identify people internally, externally, and hopefully you go through a a process there that brings out the candidates that uh, you know hopefully lands with the criteria that you need but that, that is really not pretty to me that front you have to be doing that process and I will take this over the next months. Now I know you are leaving your last day's progress in 30 years which is quite poetic in its own sense. Being independent? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, I would like to know Will you, because I believe you will be assisting in the transition process, what do you believe that process will look like? And what role you would like to play or will be playing? You mean before August or you're talking No, during about? the transition process. Uh, during the transition process is of course being part of the whole um, change process going on. You need to go through a process to get the right uh, you know, individual. Um, at the same time, even if you do, um, there would have to be a transition to make sure that there's a handover and make, and make sure that the priorities are known and you know what's important. So that's the role I can play, you know, certainly before August. I think the most important question right now everyone would like to know is why you decide to step down from the post as not just president but on board of directors as well. Well, I would say, you know, the way I am after like 40 years in the industry, and, 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 and yes, I've been eight in NGC. And 40 altogether. Mm -hmm. 40 altogether. And, you know, after a while, the, yes, I don't have to kind of prove something to be on a board or committee. 
But I think what's more important to me is uh, being able to lend strategic advice um, as opposed to sit in a board meeting and committee meeting to say, well, you know, I'm being part of the whole thing. So I much prefer to make sure the right candidate is there and to make sure that the um, input I give can still happen, but it, it, it won't be by sitting in the chair. You know, it would be more strategic advice to the board and so on. So you believe that not being, being more of an advisory position, you can be more impactful? And that was the reason for stepping down? Uh, well, I would say it, it can be impactful depending on how you use me, of course. But, uh, yeah, the, the important thing is that you stay focused on your strategy and you stay focused on what's important. And hopefully I can lend advice with some experience in that area. But I don't need to be sitting on the board to do that. There's a board and, and there's a committee, take, committees taking care of all these things across the world group. Uh, but I can certainly lend my advice. Yeah. So what are, the, what are your future plans now that you're a free agent? <laughs> <laughs> Getting into territory there. I would, I would say, well, I've already announced to be part of the, um, the Republic um, Bank holding the company, our FHL board mm -hmm. as a holding company. Mm -hmm. We joined, I've joined that board, I haven't attended the first board meeting yet, but um, that will certainly be a whole new sector that I'll be getting involved in the financial sector, uh, which is a good thing because uh, if you talk about sustainability going forward, in the, the financing and the institutions behind that will also be quite important uh, in the future. As I said, I will be supporting the NGC group and you know where I'm needed in the background as a or um, indirectly as opposed to being there in your face on a board and things like that. I, I, I don't need to be doing that, but I can certainly still lend my advice. Are there vacation plan in between after the transition process before you start with the next board? The vacation or just straight into something did, else? Did you think I need a good rest after four years? <laughs> I think, I, well, think I, I think it's well. I think it's well. I think you can still. Um, I think you can still go. You can skip a vacation this year, man. <laughs> <laughs> now I know each president, whatever they take to in any office, they have their own priorities that they would like to prioritize. Sorry, what would you hope that this individual prioritize at NGC? Well, I mean, there's a few areas that you can't get away from, right? And that is gas supply. So energy security is clearly a big one, and as I would have spoken at a conference, uh, there are challenges ahead uh, until some of the big stuff comes along, like Dragon and you know all of these things. Um, so there is a period that you still have to manage your gas supply and, and, and energy efficiency and all of these things. So that's one big area. The, the other big area is, of course, we form NGC Green, and we are actually um, you know operationalizing it and making sure that we can invest in the local, regional and international uh, markets for that. So that is building a whole new uh, subsidiary, so to speak. And then the third thing is to continue the uh, preparation of the organization and culture to make sure all of, all of this goes together. Uh, so those are challenges in themselves, and, but this is this is what's needed. So, um, you're reflected earlier on a speech that you gave, right? So you said that um, you talk about building NGC strategy in a sustainable way comparing to the foundation of our own. Can you elaborate a little more on that? Like NGC, these are sorry, the sustainable strategies. What are some of those you'd like to see implemented or that you have implemented in the past that you'd like to see they continue with? Well, when we talk at NGC about that, we, we, we talk about a house and the house is built on certain pillars pillars are defined, you know, secure your business, make sure your gas contracts, all of these things are done. Um, develop the organization, make sure you have the safety and all of these things done. Um, thirdly, locally and internationally, grow your business, make sure you grow along the chain. And then fourthly, make sure you, you, you get into this pillar of sustainability and making an impact with whatever you make. So besides the profitability staying where you are, you're actually doing something with it and making sure that's done in a sustainable stra sustainability strategy, going green and all these things, setting up the green entity, all of that is happening. 
We are doing that in a foundation, of course, being built, which is the safety, the projects delivered on time, the governance, you know, all of that is happening. Um, and then, of course, you have the technology strategy that is making all of this come together, right, and make it, making it happen. Um, so that's the house we have been building, and it's uh, still a long way to go, but it's, 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 it's um, taking a lot of form and shape as you, as you go along. Right, from asset integrity to new SAP systems being rolled out and so on. So a lot of that uh, is happening. Are there any things you want to accomplish while at NGC that you feel as though you did not get to? Hmm. That's, a, that's a question I could say. I wish I, we, we made more progress in the whole um, gas uh, supply issues, but of course, as you know, that, that has to do a lot with the chain of ministry, bid wrongs, you know, activities in the upstream. It's not just within my control. But I would say, um, you know, the, that is one area, and of course, what affects that area a lot is the power, T and tech, how much gas you use in yeah. power compared yeah. to what you put in the LNG and pet care. I wish there was more progress in the on the power side, you know, TN Tech, as you know, there's RIC mm -hmm. increasing rates and so on, but it's really where um, uh, a lot of improvement still needs to happen, you know, because we're wasting molecules, so to speak, into the electricity chain. Um, but at the same time, we are, you know, venturing into renewable energy and all of these things, so uh, there's much more efficiency that uh, I hope we could you know, get out of the whole chain still. You know? Now I know you are playing a super uh, advisory role when the incumbent comes into the yeah. office, right? Is it fair to say that you are leaving the company on good terms? I think so, because I'm even helping. helping I know, that's what I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope so, because I think my role now, if is, once the decision is made, is to make sure that you get the best process and person. Um, as opposed to, well, I'm going to see you tomorrow, and yeah, then, you yeah. know, there's lack of the continuity and so on. So hopefully the, the right process will happen and handover and transition will take place in an orderly kind of way. You have enough time that I told you so. Um, so I would say, yeah, um, yeah definitely on the terms. I just want to double back to one question again, right? Not to be annoying, but... Just as in, in Lehman's term, the reason for leaving is because you feel as though you could make a difference outside of the position of president. Um, I need a rest. Don't you they need a rest. So it's because I need a rest. <laughs> right. After 40 years. Um, now I would say um, what was important to me is that certain big things got done. Okay. One, like the sector becomes a little more stable. Which you did. So before that, we didn't have contracts, we had claims going through all that, you know. Um, billions of dollars in claims against the company, that's gone, you know, Which contracts in place. Mr. Um, Mr. Young, you know, the, the Atlantic restructuring was done, so you have a vehicle for the future. Um, you know, Venezuela is kind of kicked off with the license um, in, in Dragon. So at least there's a foundation to build on obviously I won't see some of the results of that um, but I think that is um, important to achieve and I wanted to see this happen so the why um, let the big stuff happen and it doesn't have to be me continuing every single part of the journey after that hopefully it's building the institution that we've been doing for the last years and making that work last question hobbies what are the hobbies now that you have time on your hand what are the hobbies Painting, fishing. Um, I would say you have to check my website. Right? <laughs> it's, it's full of music and pan in it. Um, so you'll find me a lot more involved in that. The music and pan. Yeah. Favorite pan site. We open Will Panorama. Mm, favorite pan site. Who would you like to see Will Panorama? Um, I can't say I have a favorite. But oh, we, I do have NGC sponsored by it, so I have to answer politically <laughs> correct. <laughs> Until August 31st. <laughs> right, sir? So. Um, I was well, about to say, do you have a trick question? <laughs> trick question? You have to go in all that path, you have still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One question. <laughs> so, 
I just want to again say thank you for your time. Um, you've done a remarkable job holding on as president. You've been able to achieve a lot. And we look forward to seeing what you do next. And you say it's always the place you can visit if you have anything you'd like to say to us. All right. You're always willing. <laughs> That's good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.